This is David Laris. As a chef, I'm used to be the one who's challenging everybody to push harder. I'm Nicola. I've been working with David for about 4 years. Because our two styles are different, so I just punch the head like that. Now I'm giving my colleagues and you guys the chance to make me look bad. Okay, let's go. This is what I want to find. It's a more cold thing. It's better to be more cold. Is it cold? Today, it's not cold. Okay, I'm ready. David, are you ready for the challenge? So Nicola's been out shopping. I've worked with Nicola for many years and she's gone out and she's bought me a mystery ingredient and the team want to put me to task to see what dish I can create without any warning. So I've also got a bunch of ingredients here behind me and Nicola tells me this is the sort of thing that she has in her fridge at home. So I've got a mystery ingredient, I've got a bunch of ingredients that I've seen for the first time and I have to come up with an awesome dish. So Nicola, come on on. All right, let's see what you've got. So, drum roll, <laughs> what's the ingredient? So I was expecting something that was going to be really hard. Ta-da! Okay, well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nicholas brought me a fish head, and I have to make some kind of gourmet, awesome meal out of a fish head. So, there it is. So there's another mystery challenge okay. uh, to this whole show that we didn't tell you about. Uh, we decided to talk to your fans as well to see if they can offer another bigger challenge on top of the fish head. Um, just to let you know, they don't know that I chose the fish head and I don't know what they chose. Okay, we'll bring it on, let's do it. <laughs> Go! Okay, you want to open it or should I open it? You do the honors, let's see what they've got. <laughs> wow. Okay, I can't wait. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so we got uh, these guys to go with this guy. Rambatam and passion fruit and fish, especially fish head, which is already a much stronger fish, really didn't seem like I could make it work. Uh, have you decided on what you're making? Not yet, I need to think about it. We'll give you five minutes. <laughs> All right, five minutes. Give me five minutes and I'll get it done. Okay. I think it's actually quite easy. I was just thinking that you just cut a fish and then you cut a fish. This is going to be tough. I really don't know how to make this into a gourmet dish straight away. Okay, hands up. <laughs> I think we have to go Asian though. I don't think we have a choice. I have a big, good idea. I think I have a good idea. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, so let's start with the fish head. Okay, Nicola, I might need your help. Okay. I thought it would help me to cut the fish. I also want to cut it. And we're going to pull off these beautiful bits of meat that often are ignored. This idea is coming together. So here we have that is going to be a core part of our dish. Okay, Nicola, so I want you to just wash that gently, okay? And it's very important after you wash it, you gotta make it really dry. And then we're gonna use this to make a quick stock. Well, you know, I don't know how well Nicola can cook. I know Nicola knows how to eat, and I know she loves going out to new restaurants and trying all kinds of food. Pot, Nicola, we need a pot. Okay. A little bit of carrot. This is how I like to clean the rambutan. So it might almost be a little bit Southeast Asian. Yeah, exactly. Just like you, Nicola, right? <laughs> okay. Put some water up to there and okay. let's get that on the stove. Okay. Turn it up high, bring it to the boil. These are great, these little devices, aren't they? And then put a lid on. Okay, so actually I didn't really want her to touch too much of the food. I already felt like, okay, let me just do this. I have a challenge here. Uh, don't get in my way. Nicola, you did something I didn't want you to do. What? You put that into there. Oh, whoops. So put that back into there. We'll enrich a little bit. We will take out what we can now, of course. But I know she was there to help. I know she wanted to be part of it. You gotta pay attention, don't, you know. Don't get ahead of me. Don't you. get ahead of me. Don't try and be the chef. You're the sous chef today, all right? Okay. Ow. Rambutam's cut up, okay? We're going to add the rambutam's in. Okay. All right. Two spoons of sugar, yep. Put some nice dash of vinegar in there. Okay. All right. Now, 
how the components of the dish are starting to come together, all right? Now let's go to the next part of the dish. Let's add a little curry powder. Let's get some pepper in there. We want a lot of flavor in here. This right. smell is very uh, overwhelming. And now we're going to add a little bit of pepper again, okay? That's going to add a nice kind of like sourness. So sour, sweet, little heat from the curry. Really intense little chutney flavor going on. How do you know when it's ready? I feel it. It speaks to me. Ask me that. That's what a chef does. Okay, so there we have our rambutan and passion fruit curry chutney. Sorry, it smells good, huh? Mm. Uh, I'm gonna, and I'm actually going to do something that I think you could serve in a fine dining restaurant. Have you ever made this before? No, I have not. This is first time creation happening live here today. All right. Oh, Nicola, you messed it up. <laughs> keep an eye on things, man. You got to keep an eye on things. But I gave her some pretty basic jobs, which I felt she kind of didn't do that well at. Let's get this in the pot. Okay. And then cover it with water and let's bring it to the boil. Okay. And that's going to make the next stage of the dish. Sweet potatoes nice and soft. And now we're going to blend it. And we're very lucky today to have KitchenAid. I think the coolest kitchen blender. Sure, I like the red. Yeah, it's very nice. A little tiny bit of butter, a little bit of pepper. Mm. That's our puree, done. Okay, finished. Whenever you're cooking fish, make sure it's always really dry, okay? Fairly hot pan, okay? Start with the base, okay? It's going to be our puree. This is your signature. Yeah, this is one of those moves. Yeah, okay. So we're going to do this, okay? Take our fish, place it here, okay? And we'll just use the milk into the blender. I told you, I promised you to do restaurant quality, right? Restaurant quality fish cheek sweet potato rambutan and passion fruit chutney, okay, with a little tiny bit of butter sauce. All right, Nicola, let's try it, okay? You can go first. Make sure you get a little bit of everything together, okay? So, no, how do we do this? Just take a little bit of the chutney, okay? You know, a, a little bit of sweet potato. Mm. It's got some bones, be careful. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. Surprisingly, it's Okay, fine, you win. Okay. <laughs> Challenge complete. Bring on the next one. You know, the idea of having to put the fish head and put the rambutans and passion fruit together was really quite difficult. In the end, the actual dish flavors worked. So, on a score of 1 to 10, on flavor profiling and making it work, I actually give myself an eight out of 10. Had a lot of fun today cooking up our mystery dish. And thanks a lot for everyone who participated in sending their requests for a mystery dish and a mystery ingredient that I had to throw together. So rambutams and passion fruit with fish head, that was a real challenge, but I think I pulled it off. Anyway, look forward to seeing you next time. Challenge me again, it was a lot of fun.